And so, uh, Vicky, what's, what's your testimony? Um, okay, so it was like about a month ago. My um, wrist started hurting like really badly, like even like just doing this, like picking up milk, um, putting on clothes, you know, uh, opening the door, like anything I did, like it would like, it wasn't like really bad pain, but it was just like kind of irritation pain. And so during the service, like about two weeks ago, uh, we were praying for healings and like it would stop hurting right before we pray. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's gone. You know, I don't need to pray for it. And then right when prayer ends, it started hurting again. So I'm like, wow, I should have prayed for it, you know? Um, but so the week after that, I just prayed for it, even though it wasn't hurting during prayer. And afterwards, it was completely gone. And now it's completely fine. So. My name is David. And um, about two years ago, uh, I rolled a razor. And I really messed up my arm, and I was in the hospital for like three months. And uh, I had like this much bone missing out of each bone. That's how bad it was. It was much worse. I have a picture if you guys want to see it, like <laughs> this thing. <laughs> but, um, and there's a lot of bone missing, and there's like, all of Washington, all the churches in Washington were praying for me, and God healed me. So grew back, and the doctor said they were going to have to take a tran implant or something like that out of my hip and put it into there, but they didn't, yeah, they didn't, it healed. Yeah, it was really nice. So um, my testimony is connected to home groups, and um, it happened actually when I went to Bethel um, about Two weeks ago, Bethel's a church in Sacramento, California, and um, that Sunday morning um, before I went to church, I was writing um, my devotions to God, and there was things in, in my devotions I mentioned. I'd been going through a lot of stress um, connected to my employment, and um, that stress was creating insane headaches for me, like to the point where I was, I was blacking out, I was fainting, and I was on medication. I had gone to the doctor twice, and so they kept switching my medication, and they couldn't find anything wrong other than it was insane stress. And it got to the point where I was talking with Mariana, my mentor, and it became really hard for me to breathe all the time. I felt like I was suffocating all the time. Well, during my devotions, I, um, I was telling God, and I was telling God, you know, um, I would like you to heal me, but even if you don't, you know, that's okay. I feel like if I'm suffocating, I keep praying and nothing's happening. But I told him, you know what? I know that you are good. And so if nothing else changes, I'm still going to worship you because you are good. So I went to morning church that morning. And then that evening, um, we were supposed to go to church at 7 o'clock. We ended up, I felt like God really said to go at 5. So we went at 5 o'clock. And um, that worship, I had remembered my devotion. So I started worshiping God like no other. And um, the pastor came up in mid-worship and he said, I feel like God's about to heal somebody, but God's not healing you because he's a healer, but God is healing you because you refuse to give up and you believe that he is good. He said, your healing is about to come as a rushing wind and God is about to heal you because you've been suffocating. He never mentioned my headaches, but he said, there's going to be healing through your body, but the first thing that's going to go is that suffocating. And I just felt like this wind, I mean, it was hot in that building, but I just felt this wind come through. And for the first time in like nine months, I felt like I could actually breathe. And since, and then after that service, or in the very end of that service, um, the pastor had said, um, there, is someone out, there are people out here that are looking for a new job. It's not that you need a job, but you are uncomfortable where you're at, and God is about to release a new job. Well, in home group, we'd been praying for my migraines for about a few weeks now and be praying that God was going to give me a new job. And so I didn't even notice until I came home. I haven't had a single day without a migraine in about nine months. And I haven't had a single migraine in like eight day in like ten days, and I just got a new job on Friday, so I want to praise God. <laughs>